So here we are at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, where tradition holds Jesus was buried and rose from the dead. Now, in order for there to be a resurrection from the dead, we must first establish that Jesus died by crucifixion. There are facts concerning the death of Jesus, both biblical and non-biblical sources, that helps our case. Non-Christian sources like the Jewish Talmud or Josephus or Tacitus and Lucian affirms his death. And then you have Christian sources like the New Testament, oral tradition, and early creeds. I'm talking early creeds before the Nicene Creed, such as 1 Corinthians 15, uh, verses 3 through 7, verify Jesus' death by crucifixion, including Jesus' early followers. They went to their graves for advocating a Messiah who rose from the dead. There are at least six historical facts that most scholars agree upon. Fact number one, following the crucifixion of Jesus, his body was placed in the personal tomb purchased by Sanhedrin's own Joseph of Arimathea. Fact number two, on the third day, a group of Jesus' women followers discovered the tomb empty. Fact number three, there are many recorded appearances of Jesus appearing alive after death. These post-resurrection appearances include not just his disciples or early followers experiencing Christ alive from the dead, but also skeptics and enemies of Christianity testify to these post-resurrection appearances. Fact number four, we know from biblical and non-biblical sources that the disciples of Jesus sincerely believed that Jesus had risen from the dead and they paid with their lives for, for this belief. Fact number five, we know that Christianity arose immediately following the crucifixion of Jesus. But where did this idea of resurrection come from? What birthed Christianity? What launched the new faith in Jerusalem? This resurrection belief was different from that of the Sadducees. The Sadducees, you see, they denied miracles and resurrections. The Pharisaic and the common Jewish belief in the first century was that of a general resurrection in the end, at the end of time. But a literal messianic rising from the dead was something unheard of in Jewish thought. Fact number six, the early and immediate followers of Jesus began to preach a resurrected Christ, which ultimately led to their deaths. As the eminent New Testament scholar N.T. Wright says, it's hard to explain the rise of Christianity unless Christ rose from the dead. The very fact that it came on the scene so suddenly and people gave their lives for that very belief, claiming that they had experienced him from the dead for 40 days is the best explanation for the empty tomb.